so, Brewing Motion 37, second chance. So this is a late model, Ocean 37, very well cared for, all original dashboard, it was actually one of the cleanest, uh, nicest sort of originally presented boats that uh, we've seen for a while. Upholstery is pretty good, original but in really good order. The later boat with the molded back seat. Canopy's in nice condition. Again, not new, but in good order. I say you below. Big boats, the Ocean 37s. Lots of accommodation and lots of space. Again, original dashboards and instruments all in really nice condition. Big old Furuno radar there. These things are fantastic. I haven't switched this on. I, don't, I can't tell you if it works, but, uh, but I would bet it does. Uh, bulletproof bit of kit. Timber, it's all good. None of the usual uh, marks around the, uh, around the window frames. Lining's all very nice. Chart table in the corner there. Counting by. Board cabin with V-berths. Again, timber work pretty good. Timber work under the windows and around the usual leak points on these older boats, all in good condition. The cabinetry in the forward cabin again, all in nice condition. Moving off. Well, this has had a double berth conversion. Most of these Ocean 37s had twin single berths. This is uh, a double, which uh, looks to looks very original to me, actually. But I wasn't aware that uh, that any actually left the Broom factory with a double berth configuration. So I suspect that Brooms have modified this for an owner at some point. But uh, makes up a good. I would have said a nearly five foot um, double berth. Still with a single berth on the uh, starboard side. Big file full of manuals, history and what have you. Toilet and shower compartment. Electric flush toilet in there. A GRP molded sink of an era you could say, but all very presentable, all very smart. You can see the timber work is all very good. Throughout the boat really, carpets, curtains and upholstery, all very acceptable. Nice example. 